dear friends, welcome back to your favorite channel, where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. We are quickly craving indulgence to please subscribe to this channel. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Also, share these new stories with your friends, family, relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much guys, I appreciate your support. The year 2020 proposed New Year Festival by Ndebu, living in Kano State, has been put on hold as the High Court has issued an expertise motion stopping the activities until the hearing of the substantive motion before it. The High Court presided by Justice Farouk Lawan Adamu stopped the Ndibu from performing the New Year Festival, Iwaji 2020 rituals scheduled to hold on Sunday in Kano. The court, in suit number K-322-2020, also restrained one Ikechuku Oliver Apudo from organizing, assembling people and celebrating the Iwaji or any festival that has to do with Indigo living in Kano. Justice Adamu directed the Kano State Commissioner of Police, Habu Sani, to ensure Apudo, other Igbo natives, and the general public comply with the court's order. Order of interim injunction is hereby restraining the defendant, Apudo, whether by himself, through any of his agents, servants, successors, or previous, from presiding over, supervising, convening, assembling, summoning, celebrating, organizing, and partaking in a New Year Festival, EYG Festival 2020, scheduled to hold on Sunday, September 27, 2020, the court said. The court further stopped Apudo from carrying out any event or other occasions whatsoever pertaining to Igbos in Kano State, pending hearing and determination of the motion on notice filed by Igwe Boniface. The court fixed October 7 for hearing. Meanwhile, the Igbo traditional ruler in, Kan in Kano, His Highness Igwe Dr. Boniface Ibekwe Ide Wan, Ezidiorama Eze for has hailed the court's verdict. Dr. Boniface, who is also the President General of Igbo traditional rulers in the diaspora, told Daily Post that the said Apudo has been parading himself as the Igwe V of the Indibus in Kano. It was gathered that Boniface is also recognized by the Abdullahi Ganduje administration as the authentic traditional ruler of the Indibu in Kano state. The court had initially restrained Apudo and asked him to pay me the sum of 2 million naira as damages for disturbing me on the throne. He has not paid the money yet. He went ahead to invite people for an Igbo New Yam Festival. He also wrote letters to prominent Igbo personalities, promising to give them chieftaincy titles during the purported event. So, I and my cabinet members, as law-abiding citizens, had to go to court to stop him. How can someone wakes up suddenly and begins to parade himself as my successor 
when I am still alive, still on the throne and performing my duties diligently as the authentic Eze Ndibu in Kano. Dr. Boniface, who has been on the throne for 10 years, queried. The Igbo monarch appealed to the Igbos in Kano to be calm, that the New Year festival Iwaji will be so celebrated at an appropriate time in accordance with the Igbo tradition. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? Power tussle all again. Where are we going to in this country with power tussle? Everybody wanting to be relevant and uh, everybody wanting to be recognized as um, one powerful person or the other at different times. Well, it is what it is, guys. I stand to be corrected. What are they probably uh, looking for? Well, it is what it is. Let's take a few reactions and let's hear what people are saying concerning this particular news story, as it were. Ume Aloysius says, Landlord for another man's land. You people have forgotten that civil war was a lesson to everybody in the north. Well, it is what it is. That is why it is difficult for the Igbos to rule Nigeria. No unity. This is a very strong point. No unity. Always divided against themselves. You know, looking for uh, who to be subject uh, under them. Simon Onwara says, The title Eze Ndibu in any place outside Igbo land should be proscribed by the state assemblies and replaced with chairman. And they should have a tenure of not more than five years. They should have executive members, like any other association, not cabinet members, so that the issue of conferring titles will not rise. Okay, do you agree with this opinion, guys? It is what it is. Another person says, this is a little, this is a little of what the Fulanis have for you. Stay there until they cut off your head. Okay, it is what it is. Another person says, when Igbo started reacting now, people will be calling them bad names. What will happen if Igbo's ban Idil Fetril for all northerners in the east? Well, it is a national uh, 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 issue, mm. but the Yam Festival is not a national one. It's a, it's, a, uh, it's a tribal issue, so anybody can decide to celebrate it or not celebrate it as it were. Femi Bola says, when Igbo started reacting now, okay, I've taken that already. Idol worshippers, worshipping occasion, our people love to serve idol, idols than to see God, says John Ude. Well, it is what it is. Do you guys agree? Is, it, is the Yam Festival a an idol worshipping um, event, as it were? Well, it's what it is. Another person says Igbos with their trouble everywhere. Okay, do you guys agree? Is it really true? Fools, stop bastardizing our rich culture and heritage. Go home and celebrate. That makes you more responsible and wiser. Ndibo, when will you ever be sensible? Go home and visit Allah Nagi. Okay. Ayobo Edwin says, but must these people celebrate their feast in another man's land? Are they sensible at all? You celebrate a feast in your place of origin, always looking for trouble. Well, it is what it is. Guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? Another person says, Obon Nachal says, Igbo man does not bother grabbing powers from another tribe, but that of his tribe men. Something that can't happen in the north or even the west. Put one Igbo man in power, his brother tries to get him down so as to occupy the seat. This is really, really sad and unfortunate. Well, it is what it is. Guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? Do you think that um, something is wrong or something is right with these guys? Well, it remains to be seen. This matter did not just end there. It went to court and the court has 
put a hold on the event well drop by the comment section let us know what your thoughts are please don't forget to subscribe to this channel kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories thank you so much guys i appreciate your support and i'll see you on the other news thank you and bye for now